But let's go to uh, we're we'll gonna Patrice. Next. Let's go to our buddy Patrice. Patrice O'Neill. Yo. What's up, man? We're talking about what offends us. Let's, well, I'm let, very proud of you, young gentleman. <laughs> let's tell everybody who Patrice. You know, Patrice is the the big black uh, gentleman on uh, Tough Crowd with us. He was a regular, and and uh, he's from my hometown of Boston. Why don't you guys bring up Shorty's watching Shorty's? And Shorty's and you guys watching co-star Shorty's. in that awful <laughs> cartoon. Shorty's yeah. watching Shorty's. Which get better ratings than Tough Crowd, by the way. So what? It stunk. Can you, can you, can you do me a favor, fellas? <laughs> yes. Can you not insult me because your your ultra white producer or whoever he is? Yeah. The first thing he says is, uh, and I'm going to do the stereotypical white voice. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, and no swearing, of course, you know that. <laughs> uh, you know, of aggression. Y'all don't have a chance to stay on the air. You're too angry. Uh, <laughs> they already surrounded you with white rules. <laughs> Well, you know what, I gotta, Patrice, I'm guilty because I told our producer, I go, tell him he can't curse. Cause... <laughs> yeah, because you're scared, Nick. You, you, got, you bought that stupid house. You stayed no, here, you still... in an apartment. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> you should have stayed in an apartment like you, like you, like you should have and know that your career is going nowhere and you bought a house based on the fact that you thought you was going somewhere. Now you got to kiss ass. Good for you. First that. of all... That's what you get. Well, That's you, what you, you get. You said that a year and a half ago on Tough Crowd. You said I was trying to suck up to Greg Giraldo and uh, that theory uh, is full of crap, as we know. Uh, it did not come true. I, I got to deal with Comedy Central for my own thing. I got a show coming out on VH1. So what are you doing in L.A.? You out there for diabetic treatments? You know what I'm doing? I'm trying to pitch a show talking about what y'all was just talking about, womenhood. I'm trying to pitch a show standing up for all men of all ages, of all mankind. And what are you doing, ass? You're doing nothing. I'm trying to help you, us all out. Yeah, I, I never talk to... about that. That was I never brought that up on stage the last day. Matter of fact, you told me, you said, when are you going to get over that woman thing? Oh, you got the wrong black guy. You must think I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. There's a lot of comics who are six four, two seventy, wear wear two hundred dollar throwback jerseys every night. <laughs> well, look, it. I'm praying that you guys make this, man. This is uh, my fingers are crossed for you, two lovely sweetie pussies. And that looks like, like two that. legs when he crosses them. I like that. Colin's Colin, in a coma right now. Doing, man? I'm standing here waiting to get into it with you two. What's what the what's going on with this with this um, thing we're doing, man? I'm trying to do my African impression right now as we speak. No, you play an American. You mean the HBO thing? Yeah. What do you think you're being, Mr. Slick, by not saying the network because I'm on a radio show? Well, uh, I, mean, I, I mean, I didn't want a white guy to say, "Hey, you shouldn't have did that." I don't want any any white interference. Should, with even when they the imitate, the show. even when they imitate white people, they can't conjugate verbs, right? Don't you? Under, don't. <laughs> I shouldn't have did. That's what a white guy said. Yeah. <laughs> what was it Rich Voss? <laughs> oh. Are you coming back for Are you coming back for Voss's wedding slash Caroline's uh, comedy hour party? Yeah, I'm going to come back from this guy's um, soon to be in the fetal position, <laughs> killing him with a knife to his throat. I'll Aaron, tell you right now. Now that the show didn't get picked up, I guarantee Bonnie pulls a runaway bride on. Shit. The show didn't get picked yet. Yeah, Bonnie's like, going to pull a runaway bride on him. <laughs> oh, my God. The only, the only chance he got is to call himself uh, Mr. McFarlane. <laughs> That's right. He's finished. At least she still has a look, so he's got nothing but his teeth. <laughs> She'll never take his stupid last name. It's over. <laughs> why would you? If you're trying to have a career in show business, why would you pick the most unfamous last name you could? Boss. <laughs> that is so funny that, that she probably will bolt because they didn't get picked up. Yeah, oh, she's got to bolt. Oh, it's, it's over. It's, she's it's got to bolt. She, she put she's all got her hopes. She really did put all her hopes in the walls. I heard. I, I saw her out the other night with Billy Burr. Oh. <laughs> apparently, well now, apparently he's got some heat on him. This is this is true. This he, he she now has her own circle of comedy friends. I mean, her, right. her plan is unfoiling as we speak. Yes. She has her own. She has her own circle of comedic friends that she says wait to Rich. Like when Rich says, "Hey, baby, sweetie, whatever, right. little, whatever you right. call her, she says. Wait a minute, because I'm talking to my friends. It's like oh. you didn't even have friends before <laughs> Voss brought you in the business. You should be still introducing yourself. But Vo- she now yeah. brings people over to introduce them and say, hey, this is a friend of mine. Be nice to her. It's like, you know what? Who are you, Bonnie? You know what? He, she thinks she's now because she's Voss's soon-to-be ex-wife yes. that, that she's <laughs> like that, that, that she's not the middle. And not even the middle. She's not the opener she was six years ago. It really bugs but me. But it's and also... HBO yeah. special is going to drop. 
it's going to be really over for Voss. But also the uh, you know the fact that she has all those alternative friends. I, I saw Voss down in the East Village buying a Mao T-shirt. I'm not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to fit in. Which I always Voss. liked Patton Oswald. We're talking about Rich Voss and his. Uh, his fiance Bonnie McFarlane is a female comedian, and Rich was on Tough Crowd with us many times, and and uh, that's who we're beating up on. He's our favorite punching bag, and it's, and it's really good. What I'm what I'm happy about is I'm in L. A. right now, and all the old hags um, of comedy, um, you know, Paula Bell, and, uh, 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 it, it, who's the other one that looks like um, a transvestite? Uh, Lampanelli, Lisa Lampanelli, all oh, the yeah. old school yickety yackety comic girls. That hate Bonnie McFarlane, by the way, because she's like this new age, right? Cute. Shop, you know, cleverness kind sure. of thing. And she got the HBO special, so it's just great to see all the all the, the razor cuts on the on the arms and all the. You Not know, Lisa Lampanelli models. though; she thinks she's hot. I got a lot going on. Bonnie's oh. got, Bonnie's got an she's, HBO special. She got one of those yeah, half hours. Yeah, Bonnie got an HBO special. She's I mean, Ross is really his t time is ticking. Bonnie got an HBO special. Yeah, she got Bonnie McFarlane got an HBO special. But they needed a girl, you know what I mean? I mean, whose place you was, was you going to take? What I mean, am I going to do, push my penis between my legs to get on HBO? You might as well do Silence of the Lambs because it's your only chance. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah, want to I... see you anymore. <laughs> what? I saw, I saw you on Kimmel. You, we don't like you berating people anymore, Nick. It's over with that. Who was I berating, you big dummy? You, I saw the whole thing. Who did you berate berating, on Kimmel? You were berating Kimmel's audience, and I saw it. I... Get the hell out of here. Those poor no, that was Conan. All they wanted to do was laugh. That That's was all they wanted to do. That was Conan. No, it wasn't. It was Kim I, I love how you base my whole everything on what you start at the comedy cellar every night for the last ten years. I'm no, much, no, no. I'm much <laughs> different. Colin, Colin, Colin. Yeah. This, this new and improved, I want to, I want a job in society, Nick, makes me sick to my stomach. Oh, Colin. tonight I wanted to stab him. I came in the studio, he goes, eh, are you going to try? <laughs> He starts implying that because it's not my show, I'm sharing it, that I didn't want to have guests. I felt like saying, you know, stupid, when we did Tough Crowd, I would I would reject guests also all the time. You know what I mean? Big guests. Because I like to work with the people I'm working with. That's it. What do you he mean? Really ma I that's, wanted to stab you. That's all I'm saying. That's, going, that's not what we were fighting about. Yes, it was. Listen, Colin, I understand it. I'm getting that age. I'm not as old as you two guys collectively. I mean, no, but you know old. what? You're black well, and you I have mean, diabetes. You might as well yeah, that's be. That's what I'm saying. I mean, 35 to a black man is at least, <laughs> I would yeah. say, 52 to a white man. All right. So let's say we're both the same age. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get I you Snickers. It, I can hear it in, in Nick's voice that he's given up. I can hear it. Oh, he, you know, you've been saying surely. this for—you've been saying this to me for like the last five years, and you know what? No, it's, no, it's uh, the last you, year. It's, it's the not going to come year. true just because you keep saying it, you dummy. I'm doing better I don't than want ever. It to come true. You—you—you're a comedy legend, but I know that you and your middle-aged friends watching them work—it hurts. Now, me and you just got off VH1. <laughs> it hurt me, and I was a guest star on on some offshoot of Shorties. I was on that guest star too. Which is us commenting. On other, not even celebrities. We're not even commenting on celebrities, which David Spade is doing now. His, he done. Yeah. You, you know, we commenting on. Oh, that's why he's we're out commenting there. on. Nonsense. We're commenting on commenting on Japanese Johnny Knoxville's. Yeah. Yes, cracking chopsticks in their butt cheeks. It, You're gonna tell me? I, look, at, I'm hurt watching you in this position. Oh, will and, you stop? I took that for the <laughs> quick 60k. You understand that being black? 60k. I get it for the short money. Well, uh, no, let me tell you about... That's old school, 60K. I'll tell you, I turned down not only living a longer, healthier life, yeah. I turned down uh, about 80 Gs to do the fat celebrity show. How about that? Thank I God. I not anything. Now, now, I, I mean, hope you take... Gs, I could have took 80 Gs and got in shape. You would have you spent that on fudgicles. <laughs> how come... Hey, Patrice, on a more personal note, how come what? I've left you two messages, leaving messages of P. Diddy's funny new comedy show... And you didn't call me back yet. Well, look. I'll tell you what it is. You're you want to get analytical. First of, all, you, first of all, Colin, you change numbers like a nigger. I don't. I don't. <laughs> you have to bleep that. I, I mean, no. <laughs> no one can find you, Colin. I don't even attempt. You call from unavailable. Uh. Call, Colin. You're not mysterious. Just leave. Ah. Just leave your number so I can get back. To ah. you. I know he doesn't. He won't pick up with me during. It's got to be after three o'clock in the afternoon. He won't answer his phone. 
Yeah, stop playing, Colin. I can't get in touch with you. You leave, you leave an um, hour and a half message with nothing else but, you know, and then you almost, you know what, and your goodbyes on the phone, yeah. it sounds like you have a microphone that you slam down on the ground and put your both hands up and say, good night. You're not a genius. Hey, can I ask you? Can I ask you something, Mr. Rebel? Mr. Rebel, what are you, what are you doing out in Hollywood? If you're such a rebel, you dink. He's writing a sitcom based on his relationship with Will Sylvent. It's called My Haitian Friend and Me. I'm out here kissing Jew booty, trying. Oh. To <laughs> That's the spirit. Oh, uh, they really are. They really are annoying. They really, you know what the thing is, in the old days, the Jews like Harry Cohn and all those guys that started show base, they were like funny, like, you know, like peddlers that became push car, you know, low east side guys that had a little bit of spirit. Why were they communists though? But now it's all, no, they weren't. All there right. was a, but then nowadays, it's just like this third generation with Jewish names, and, uh, and they almost look like, you know, wasps. It's really annoying. They really yeah, bother nah. You know, I'm out here talking to them, trying. I'm trying to put a. I'm trying to put a show on yeah. that has something to do with. Like, I look. I, I talked to this guy, this writer. It's like, like I was listening to y'all on the phone before you picked up. It's like there's no men's point of view. Like, like we don't. That's the that's the entitlement that is is really our fault as men for giving women such entitlement to like think yes. that they but, do what they do because we enjoy, like like because. They do it. It's just because it's like a there's a bunch well of men. It, 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 look, look. It's like in Iraq. I know in Iraq, and I'm not saying. Yeah, they have it right over there with the women. Listen, I'm saying they make the women. I know there's some women with dreams and hopes and creative <laughs> abilities. But if they yeah. get out of hand, yeah, they Bonnie got, McFarlane, they get, they get tossed through a window. If if so, it's like <laughs> at least the women here should respect. Right. That we allow them not to, like, we don't make them put things on their heads. We allow them the delusion. And right. They, 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 yeah, like, they don't give us any respect for the fact that at least the fact that we have broader shoulders, we can, we can you know, mush them. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, it, it, they, just, they give us no... It's Hillary Swank. But, but the irony in all this is that you're out there trying to convince... Because <laughs> that's who ultimately is going to make the, the decision on your show with some chick... Well, I got lucky today. I had a meeting with uh, uh, Lagroff, this guy. He 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 runs a show over at FX. So I got I got to Is the he, top. What's his first top name? Guy, John Lagroff. Is he straight? I think. Lagroff. No, straight dude. Yeah, I think yeah, that's the guy. That, straight guys. I think that's the guy I had a meeting with about three months ago. That I think I want to stab in the face because he you know, in the, at the beginning of the meeting he goes, I have to take a call. I'm totally looking at his two assistants. He gets on the line and comes back. Yeah, well, let's talk. With his abrupt attitude. So if you work with him, tell him I'd love to spit in his eye for a TV show, reality show. Oh, yeah. hey, oh, he wait a minute. Nice, he seemed to be a nice guy to me. Is, uh. he, is, is he doing that show? What is it? Something Sunny Day in Philly? Sunny Day in <gasps> Some, Myself. I, something like Keith you, Robinson? Have you, seen, have you seen Nick Tuck, fellas? <laughs> no, but I've seen... Uh, is that what it is? I've seen Sunny Day in Philly. It's about a guy that sleeps during the sunny time because he's driving six hours to a twenty dollars spot with the, for the rest of the eight hours of his life. That'll be Keith Robinson, yeah. our old cohort. Keith is out here too. Keith's out here. Norton's out here. Everybody's trying to be sneaky and successful. Uh, <laughs> and the sad part is, the yeah, sad and you're part calling is, us showbiz sellouts. But the sad all part the, is, wait a minute. All the all the rebels are trying to sneak around everybody's back. The sad part is that <laughs> the sad part is Norton's actually like. Hey guys, listen. You gotta calm. You gotta chill when you're out here. I mean, they can sense desperate because he's got a corny walk-on part on a HBO show with Louis C.K. Yeah. <laughs> you guys gotta realize, you know, Keith. I mean, you just gotta lay back. Shut up. I read for that stupid thing. <laughs> Not his part, but I, I gotta watch that go through the roof, and that's gonna be a guaranteed smash because I auditioned for it and get it. Well, at least at least uh, Geraldo, he was he was like brave enough to try to make it. He he saw a sinking ship, and he tried to make it like right in front of everybody's face. So I'm really happy. He's he's like a half Puerto Rican trying to find something. I've seen him doing a like a cable commercial. Not a commercial. What is that for? I keep trying to figure out what's the product. It's a Com it's Comcast Com local yeah. cable. It's a it's local, local cable. commercial. Yeah, it's only going to be on for like three months. Uh. But he's got another thing, you know, too, Patrice at Comedy Central now called. Friday Night Live with Greg Giraldo. Oh, well, all right. 13 I, I, episodes. No. Yes, really? yes. I just love him. Why does some people just get it so easy? Because can, it's... Can, it, I a, can I just get a dime? I need a dollar. I need a couple hundred thousand. <laughs> oh, well, just get out of Compton. Talk to one of your brothers. 
<laughs> I'm hoping to get a writer's job on Mind of Mencia. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what happened to that Stella toy you were doing? Oh, uh, yeah. Listen, I, was, I had a meeting with uh, Stone Stanley, and I was trying to pitch a show. Stone Stanley? Who's that, a wrestler? They do... Uh, Sounds like a NASCAR they driver. Do, they, used to do the, they used to do the man show. Oh, they did? So they said to me... Um, we have the I same hope. idea, only with you? Yeah, right. They go, hey, uh, well, I don't think that, that really, you know, will go. But we, we, but we have a new show coming out called... It's about an older woman, and I'm not lying to you. It's about an older woman looking for a young... It's a reality show. And you're going to mug her? A, a younger man. Yeah. It's called Ivana Young Man, starring Ivana Trump. I think I have a great you're show. You're kidding me, right? That's the no. title? I have a great Ivana show for you. Young Man. I almost tipped the table over. You get and it? you're going to be the younger man? What? Well, you're going to be the younger man? No, nah, it's just like that. Oh, they, God. Like, they looked at me like my idea was, you know, like yeah, I, uh, I uh, bought a young man. I have an idea for you as a younger man with an older woman. It stars you and Jessica Tandy. <laughs> <laughs> you have a class four license? Well, you know what's funny? The fact is that you have the same shape as Dan Aykroyd in that movie. Now. Ah, it's boy. true. <laughs> that stinks. Oh, that's awful, but true. I am oh, my finished. God. <laughs> Fellas, with all my heart and uh, soul, I will say I hope you guys get this radio show. Oh, who cares? Shut up. I, no, no, I do. Listen, see, I told you Colin didn't, didn't care oh, about this. I, I told you I didn't care two days ago. What do you mean? Right. I said either way is fine. I believe you. But, you know, listen, why don't you think of Nick's desperation? What do you mean? All right. fine. Get it for Nick. Oh, please. You're hoping it stays on because, you know, your things will be in the toilet by next Friday. You'll be back. Yeah, right? Ivana man. man. All right. Uh, <laughs> Ivana driver. <laughs> Thanks, Patrice. Listen, don't hang up. On, let me say goodbye. Okay. You know? Jesus, stop being mean, Nick. Okay. Nobody's... I, I love you guys. All Just because right. you look like... I told you what Todd Lynn looked like, the Superdome rapist. <laughs> 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 we we got to go to a break. Nick and Colin, 106.7 JFK. That was Patrice O'Neill. See you later, Patrice. Uh, All right, man. All right. Oh, he's great.